Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and greetings. I am Muhammad Shazwan bin Majid Shah from School of Electrical Engineering, College of Engineering, University Technology Mara. We'll be presenting on our research paper topic entitled Face Recognition with Face Mask for Intruder Detection. So, for the introduction, the issue of securities in Malaysia is increasing coupled with the problem of COVID-19 making face masks a medium of theft and burglary. So normal face recognition will have a hard time identifying an identity with face masks. So with this Im system implemented, it will help improve the current method to detect fake identities and prevent intrusion. So this uh, face recognition with face mask detection uses uh, CNN, which is convolutional neural network, and Procrastus analysis to analyze uh, and measure similarity of visual imagery. So the system uh, effectively recognizes the identity of a person with a face mask. Despite its exploratory nature, this study offers some insight into face mask uh, identity recognition. So a natural progression of this work is to explore other types of face mask detection and similarity methods. Moving on to the problem statement, uh, Malaysia face, Malaysia's uh, face recognition system is not quite well secured and incompatible. So whenever an intruder breaks into someone else's property or any security related risk is detected, it is almost difficult to figure out a person's identity and early alerts of the risk are impossible without an updated face recognition. Uh, hence, the detection of anom anomalies in private properties can be a nuisance due to face recognition failures. So, property security becomes unbearable and very inconven inconvenient to handle such situations. So, with this study sets out to develop an identity uh, of a person with a face mask detection. So the system uses OpenCV and uh, compu computer vision library to process a sequence of images and deep learning algorithm for face mask recognition. It then analyzes the similarity of a person to identify the identity using a Procrustes shape analysis. The effectiveness of the system is evaluated based on the ROC and ACC methods. So, on to the objective of the research. So, there are three uh, three res uh, research objectives. First being the to identify the components and characteristics of face mask identifi identification system. Second uh, is to, to develop a system to recognize an identity of a person wearing a face mask. Third, third and last uh, is to measure the effectiveness of the face recognition system implementation in identifying a person's identity. There are five uh, methodology of the research. First is the conceptual diagram. Second is the software component. Third is the uh, data set system flowchart and effectiveness evaluation method. So for the first one, conceptual diagram, we can see here with this two diagram, first is the overall process block diagram which shows the start of the process, uh, uh, start of the process of the phase recognition, phase, uh, uh, phase detection process, mass detection process and the identity uh, of owner. So for the second figure, it shows the the mass detection block diagram, which shows the how the conver, convolutional neural network works. For the third uh, conceptual diagram, this is the similarity test block diagram, which shows uh, the similarity test using a uh, Procrustes analysis. First, a video capture the input, 
calculate the similarity plots the image using 68 landmark value and then it verifies this uh, the image similarity test using Procrastes analysis with that if it detects the owner it detects and displays the owner's name moving on to the system flowchart this is the flowchart uh, for uh, for the Instagram uh, figure 4 shows the uh, face mask detection flow chart for figure 5 shows the similarity identification identification flow chart so in this uh, face mask detection flow chart uh, which is the figure 4 shows the part 1 and part 2 data pre-processing and CNN training uh, how it uh, how how the system flows and it has the part 3 which is the detecting mask so for figure 5 shows the how the how the system detects the owner's identity uh, identity, uh, identity so first uh, it detects the face through the video capture and save into video.avi it then extracts the image from capture video frame by frame plots point on face ROI which is the region uh, region of interest uh, using facial 68 landmarks it then detects the image with 68 landmark points it will go to a decision point which is is it the owner if it detects the owner the output will display the owner's name if if it does not detect the owner it will uh, the output will identify it as unknown for the system uh, for the last system flowchart this is the image similarity uh, identification test flowchart which is which it shows the how uh, the identification uh, image similarity test works for image A and image B uh, using uh, Procrastes analysis so for the data set the first data set used in the data pre-processing and CNN training phase is the pre-trained uh, deep learning model consisting of 68 images containing people with without face mask and 690 images containing people with face mask making it a total of 1,376 images. The second data set used in the in this study for the similarity identification process is a self-built data, data set with a collection of 35 subjects. Each subject has uh, two images which are an image with, uh, with mask and another image without mask. These subjects are also classified into genders and races. The main purpose of this classification uh, are to avoid any controversial, uh, controversial results related to the face mask and, uh, detection and similarity identification test. The data set is currently unavailable for research purpose. We use the OpenCV, Keras, TensorFlow, NumPy, SciPy, and Jupyter Notebook. Uh, last methodology is the effectiveness evaluation method. So the effectiveness of the identification, ident identity recognition with face mask is measured based on the standard face recognition performance measures. So these methods are first uh, true asset rate TAR, false asset rate FAR and correct classification ACC. For 7A and B provides the result obtained from the mask detection uh, phase of the system for subject with and without face mask. It is apparent that the presence of the face mask is successfully detected in figure B. The results reveal positive output of CNN implementation. So for figure 8A and B, for the purpose of observation, uh, CNN has been trained and validated using open source dataset as mentioned in the methodology section above. So figure A and B shows the training and validation results as it can is as it can be seen as the number of epochs training uh, increases the number of loss detection decreases 
the accuracy of this performance can be seen in figure 8b so the result revealed better accuracy of the model training for the second section of the result which is the identity recognition figure 9a illustrates the subject uh, image marked with six, complete 68 68 landmark points while figure 9b with the selected 31 points uh, 31 landmark points as mentioned in the methodology section only 31 points were chosen that is uh, located in the eyes eyebrows nose which are not obstructed by the face mask figure 10 is the identified face uh, identity recognition result so figure 10 shows the uh, result obtained from the pre preliminary analysis of the similarity identification phase. It indicates that the phase identification is accurate for figure 11. Figure 11 shows another result obtained from the similarity identification phase. The result indicate, indicates that the process is unable to recognize the correct identity of the subject. Hence, the output label is labeled as unknown. The possibility reason why the subject being false negative is the facial 68 landmark could not identify a good XY coordinate due to the subject wearing a black mask. So, another, another logical reason is the orientation of the captured image with mask. When applying uh, Procrastus analysis, an optimal transform is applied in the second matrix, which is the captured image with mask, causing miscalculated output for the subject. So, uh, here is the table for effectiveness evaluation results. So, 97.14% 97, 97 of accuracy based on ROC analysis, 0% absence of false positive and zero and true negative based on FAR measures. Third is the 97.14% percent position based on the correct classification ACC analysis. And last uh, a subject with high accuracy is classified into the true positive group whilst a, gr uh, a subject with low accuracy is categorized under false negative group. The numbers are achieved when 34 out of 35 subjects are true positive. So with that in mind, I would like to conclude our research paper. So, as a conclusion, the purpose of the current study is to develop and evaluate a system that recognizes the identity of an individual with and without wearing face masks. The results indicate that the system is successfully meet the objective and recognizes the subjects with correct class classification of 97.14% accuracy. The findings suggest a positive outcome from the image similarity identification implementation even when the tested on small sample of participants. One of the limitations of the study is the source of data images and videos that would restrict, that would restrict uh, the overall effectiveness of the system. To overcome this limitation, future data collection phase needs to be conducted in a controlled environment. Although this is a preliminary study, the integration of the CNN component in recognizing the face mask and the uh, procrastus analysis component in identifying the face similarity with the, the application adds to the growing of the body of research in face identification for a person with a face mask. For so, uh, finally, for the future study, the system can also be integrated for both phases and analyzed using other phase similarity analysis methods. That is all from me and thank you.